I had a request to make a video on how to do feather sticks. So that's what we're going to do coming up on Survival on Purpose. Welcome back to Survival on Purpose. My name is Brian. Thanks for joining me. So not too long ago, I had a request to please, please, please make a video showing how to make feather sticks. I know there are a lot of people with a lot more skills than me who have probably already made videos on how to make a feather stick and I have in no way, shape or form any kind of expert on any of this. But I, I like making feather sticks so I'll be happy to show you how I make feather sticks and hopefully it'll help you. So let me take you down the old stump top and we'll get to doing some of that feather stick stuff. Okay here we are on the old stump top and I got three different kinds of wood here. I got, I think this is privet, I don't know, it's really hard. I got some really soft almost semi-rotted poplar and I've got some cedar. Now I saw a video from Morris Kahansky who is the the king of bushcraft literally and it, I'm, I was really glad to see that he, he, he came out and said that some wood just doesn't feather properly. Um, so we got several different ones here to show real quick. We'll try with the privet here first and um, one thing about feathers what you try to do is you, if, if you can create a ridge and you ride that little ridge down then you create another ridge. Every time you cut down, you're going to create a ridge at the corner. So it gives you something to, to make the feather. Otherwise, if, you got, if you're trying to cut on a flat, you're going to make a big wide feather. For me, with the wood that I have available to me, I have a lot better time if I, if I split it and find something really sharp to work with. So for example, if you split this open here, and again, this is a really, really hard wood then that gives us an edge here to work with. And so then you can kind of carve down. I always put my knife at kind of an angle and then just kind of let it, let it, let it run down and slice. And, and what that does, it gives you the curls. See how it curls up? Now this wood is not really good feather wood, in my opinion. At least for my skills set, it's not. So even though you can, you can, you can get some feathers with it, it's just not, it just doesn't work as good. So but that's, how, that's, that's one way to do it. And it, it really helps if it's kind of got, a little, in my opinion, it's not super, super dry. When you finally get to the point where you've got some curls there, I mean, you've got some edges you can kind of get curls off of, you can do okay. okay. So that's this wood. Not too bad, but not great. So the next, we've got a piece of, of poplar. And I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with that. I'm going to split it out to get a corner. And then... It helps to have a really sharp knife, and this knife is pretty sharp, but then you can just see how it just runs down. The softer the wood seems like the better it feathers, but as you run down at an angle, it'll curl up on you. So if you can get just a light, super light touch, you can get those really, really, really tiny little curls, which really helps if you're trying to start a fire. Now you gotta have, have more of them because they don't burn very long, but, and, and, and you don't necessarily have to run down, like if you run your knife down like so, I do because it, just, it gives me more control. I feel like I can really get a little smaller curve, a little smaller curl. And that's just the way I do it. Everybody doesn't do it that way, I know. So now, and some of it depends on what kind of edge you've got. This is a Scandi grind knife. Um, different knives do better jobs, but for, for, I kind of use the same technique on all of them. Okay, so that's the poplar. Next, we're going to try it with some cedar. I've got a piece of, of red cedar here. You can look at the inside of that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna baton it out a little bit and to get to get an edge on it, and then we'll see what happens. Okay. Another thing I want to point out: you see, how I've got an outside curve here, outside curve like so. To me, it's easier to to to, to carve feathers on an inside curve because you don't. It just you're kind of like working with the wood instead of against it. So if you can if you can just kind of ride an edge there, all the way down. Sometimes you. Can, Okay, that was a little thick. Sometimes you can get some really long curls.
And the key is just is to kind of ride that little, that little corner, each little, little micro corner that you make as you come down. And the smaller your curls, the smaller those corners are going to be. But I always just, I just kind of ride the knife edge down. Instead of trying to keep it in one plane like this, I ride it like that. It just seems to really give me more control and lets me make finer, finer curls and slices. Now, the, the purpose, the main purpose, as always, of making these curls is for starting fires. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and uh, take all these we just made. And we'll just see how well they actually perform the function which they are intended to do. Okay, in my mind, how they look is not nearly as important as how well they burn. Because the whole purpose for starting, a, doing these curls to start a fire. So let's just see what happens here. Alrighty then. That's how I do it. Okay, well, like I said, I'm no pro, no expert, but but that's how I make a feather stick. If you've been wondering about that, I hope this has been helpful. Um, again, I'm no expert, but uh, the best advice I can give you is just grab a knife, grab some wood, and start practicing. Try different kinds of wood, you know, see what works best. Just try to ride that little angle, and um, I hope this has been helpful. As always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with all your friends. And thank you so much for doing all your Amazon shopping through the Survival on Purpose links. I really appreciate the support. Once again, my name's Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival's not an accident, so be prepared. See you next time.